Hello, welcome back to another video. I know I said I was going to do these videos once a week, but uh, one, my life isn't that exciting for me to fill a five minute slot every week, and two, I don't want to bore the life out of you with trying to fill a five minute slot every week. So I figured I would put five minutes together and would recap on what I'd done the previous month, and that's enough. So what have we got up to in October? Well, October was the first month that I decided to take this fitness thing seriously and focus on my cycling. I stopped smoking, obviously a few weeks before October started. I did have a couple of relapses in October. There were two occasions. One was a, a friend's stag do, and the other was a Blink-182 concert when I had a couple of cigars on those occasions. Other than that though, I've been smoke free and I am feeling it and I am feeling better for it, so that is a bonus. This month also seen me join a cycling club for the first time ever, uh, Tick Hill Velo. I've been out with the guys a couple of times and absolutely loved it. I'm so glad I did it. It's something that I wish I had done years ago. This does mean that I have to get up a little bit early on a Sunday, pack all my gear into the van, drive over to Tick Hill and set off from there. Usually we take on a sort of 40, 50 mile route. Sometimes hilly, sometimes not. The last one was a little bit hilly and I did struggle in the early stages of that ride simply because the first ride I went on with those guys, I didn't have any fuel in my van. So I had to stop at the petrol station and I purchased a couple of tracker bars which I ate in the van on the way over and that was on top of me helping breakfast. The second time we went out it was a lot more hillier route and I didn't need any diesel so I didn't stop for any extra fuel. So when we set off from the cricket club in Tick Hill on our, on our usual route and started climbing some hills, I did feel it, I started to struggle. But once I'd had something and, and got a bit of fuel down me, I settled in and everything was hunky-dory. The club does have two groups and I was gonna try and sneak into the, into the slower paced group. On the very first day when I turned up, it was meant to be the faster paced group's feature ride, which was supposed to be 125 miles. And there was no way I was taking on that at this early stage. So I had decided to go out with the slower group. But on that day, their ride was cancelled due to the weather. The slower group had decided to go from one of the members' houses and not the cricket club. I turned up at the cricket club and lo and behold, I ended up with a faster paced group. But thankfully, down to the quality of the club, they kind of split that group. You've got your elite riders that just fly off and they're done. And they have what they call a comfort bubble which is sort of 16, 17 mile an hour. And that's where I stayed and managed to keep up. When we got back that day to the cricket club, I tried to say, I'll be out with the slower pace group next week, but the club was having none of it and they had decided that I am staying in the group I'm in. One of my friends that's a very keen cyclist, he suggested that I should join some of the workouts and training guides that they have on Zwift, which I did. Started with the 12 week back to fitness basic training, which is two sessions a week for a half, a half an hour to 45 minutes at a time. And I think I'm um, probably six or eight sessions through that and thoroughly enjoying it. It gives me a reason to jump on the indoor trainer through the week in these cold winter nights. There's various different types of rides on that training workout. Some of the rides I find easier than others. The ones I tend to struggle with are the ones of a slower cadence. Anything, uh, there's one on there where it has you turning at around 55 RPM, where usually my average is around 80 or 90. And I find that at that slower RPM, it absolutely kills me. But I guess that's why they do it, bust you out of your comfort zone, I suppose. No pain, no gain, as they say. So, the big question on everybody's mind is, did I lose any weight? If you remember back at the weigh-in at the start of October, I was 12 stone 6 when I started this. Um and I've been riding with a club, riding, there is a club group ride on Zwift in the middle of the week, I've been doing my uh, training sessions, my whoop says I'm busting a gut on a daily basis and I'm going way over my strain value. Yes, I've still been doing yoga with the missus and uh, have I lost any weight? Not as much as I would have thought. Uh, I was 12 stone six at the start of October and at the start of November, I'm 12 stone two, so I've lost four pound. My maths is right, 12 stone six, 12 stone two, yeah, four pound. Uh, I thought I would have lost a bit more, but I think it's down to the fact that with stopping smoking, 
I've kind of gone crazy on the sweets and the crap. I eat so much junk food. Every time I want to light up a cigar, I think I must go and eat half a pound of chocolate or half a bag of Haribo. It's just the way I've kind of dealt with it. So I think in the month of October, it was the nutrition that's let me down. So big focus now on diet going forward. I need to make sure that I'm eating right. And hopefully I'll have some bigger improvements to tell you next month.